Hey Clash, it's time to clash with SPJ again. Today we are going to watch some deck that make us win and lose some matches. So let's take one replay right now and we're gonna do live after attack after that. So here we go. Uh, we are going against a Chinese player. He's a great player. I think so. He did it very well to manage to take my one tower right now. So it's a level 6. I'm on level 7. Okay, now he's bringing the deck that is much common in this arena. Because this deck helps to win a lot of battle, but yes, I have an elixir bomb to make a uh, elixir advantage. But he's a bomber, and there he goes to bring that bomber. I have the skeleton army to take him down. Zapping it would have been the best idea because it would have uh, take that little time for the defend uh, skeleton army. Because if he goes towards my tower, he would take that tower right away from me. Now he tries to take my right lane with the prince, but the prince has done a very great damage to my right tower, and I didn't have any answer to that. So this was a great idea of him to manage that lag and I started to ray arrows oh my gosh this arrows didn't even touch those minions so I spent my minion to take the uh, skeleton army and there he goes minions the heart goes down and he brings the hogs and I don't have any counter troops just the skeleton army but yes yeah, sure he's going to oh my gosh I thought the tower was down but now the skeleton army helped me a lot now he tries to bomb down yes he did the white one taking Three buildings at one explosion. Now he's having a one tower at one church and he's taking the dragon right now. So I am going to spare to take the giant first, then back up with the Pekka, which would help him to take the tower as fast as possible. Now this giant is gonna be the tanking uh, for my troops right now because I know he's going to take the minion over. I was thinking at that time, but no. He bring that to the barbarians and I spread my minion horde so that they could take it out and then he bring that minion horde from his own side to take me to take my minion so down and the breaking the giant was a great idea now I arrowed this minion horde I think so yeah it, we should do it and now it's time for the push and this giant uh, sorry this Pekka is going right against the right lane and then he flips on the princess now it's time for the priest and there we go the first tower goes down Maybe it would have been the second tower, it would have been the three crown, but yes, surely he's a very intelligent player. He brings that skeleton, uh, giant skeleton to strike my Pekka once more time and he goes down. Now it's time to giant to do some hit point towards the middle tower, but not sure that her uh, the middle tower will go down. So I build another elixir pump so that the elixir pump may distract that hog rider who was me because I was knowing that he was going to bring that hog rider and witch. That witch is taking my minions down and the hog is not at a good health and minions did it. Now this giant skeleton moving towards my army camp and now this Pekka is going to handle that and bring in the giant for tanking so that the skeleton, uh, giant skeleton get distracted towards the giant. The dragon is doing some pretty good damage to my giant and Pekka but I bring my minion horde and then arrow his horde and on his minion horde. So that my minion horde can take and now two giant skeleton that is crazy but still i managed to take both the giant skeleton right into this area my minions and minion horde is going to do that and there comes a heroic minion is going to take this hogs right now and now there's a 60 second aggro battle going on i build another elixir bomb to distract this queen and now i started to attack from the left lane so that he may uh, going for he may go for my middle tower but i have to go for that left lane because this is a sudden death doesn't matter you, whoever takes the first round with a win and as I said you need technical knowledge of playing this game you should know and that's that's a very wrong point very wrong point of deploying that giant bomb and now it's giant skeleton so I spread my minions right now he's not knowing that my middle tower is in very poor and freeze that area and this time it's who will win this okay come on come on let's do it oh yeah we did that well played bro but it was not that enough to take my tower now so let's move on to the live attack let's do it oh sorry I press the reply again so let's cancel it right now let's do a live attack so we got a live person right now his name is Barry from a Chinese clan whatever clan it may be is a level 6 might be very much dangerous or might not be very much dangerous sometimes level 6 and level 5 players are much dangerous than me I'm just thinking that he's bringing giant for tanking right now 
So I am waiting for my elixir to get filled up. Now I will spread my giant from the back. So that I may also do one tanking right now. As usual, bring the giants from the back. Now I bring the spear goblins. That's a great idea. Okay, I deployed the skeleton. Oh fuck! This behaving ball doesn't worry. I have the minion hole to take him down. Oh shit, are you kidding? You took my minion hole and that sure is going to take my first tower down with the help of this. Okay, I have another giant. Let's do it. Let's make it two giants. Okay, I doesn't have anything to counter with the mineral area to my potion. And there it comes with the minion hole. Oh my gosh, well played bro. You are amazing. I love your playing. Well played. You just take my two giants. Well played bro. It was was sure that you are going to get very very hard against outside. And now I rode his areas so that I could I could take this small melee troops out. Now that's a well played. I sent him more taunts like well played, well played. Yeah, I, you did well bro, well bro. I know you are. Now I build elixir to make some elixir advantage. Okay, come on, he's trying to do tanking once more time. I know he's trying to do the chance. Bringing back balloons from the back. He knows that he's having arrows, but at this time I spread the speaker from the left lane so that I think you would have been a little bit confused. But yes, he was having the minion node, and that makes some dangerous. Now my left tower, right tower is also gone. And now just a field of tower and then I don't have any counter troops to go against this and oh my gosh He brings his balloons and minion hold. I Should I take it? Okay, come on. Come on balloons. Come on minion hold. No. Oh my gosh See the hit point just 18 even the goblins can do a lot of damage and here he goes Before zapping he takes my tower. Well played bro. You were awesome. Hope you watch this video I will meet you in real life if I can Took my 30 trophies, but yes, skillful attack. Move on to the next attack. Let's do some changes. Let's take this archers in case of giants. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, move on to that free spell. Rather than using free spell, use this witches to tank the Pekka. Okay, let's do it. Let's find a plan. Okay, now it's a level 7, and I'm also level 7. So let's place that elixir pump. Okay. So there he goes, I get the elixir pump from the back so that I could get a one elixir advantage. Oh, he thought that I would spread my tools from that side. That was a great idea, but you should be patient regarding your fireball. Fireball are very important. I first zap this, then take this, take him out from this arrow because archers are much more stronger here. And now I have that elixir advantage over here. Okay, he's bringing the spear goblin. That's a nice idea. It took a little bit help from my tower. Anytime you bring spear goblin at the first to take some damage to a tower, it's a good idea. Now bring the Pekka, wait for the Pekka to going on. Then bringing the witches from the back would be the great idea. Okay, that was cool, that was cool. He might be having that minion holds. Okay, I sure he was having minion holds. So I arrowed this area. Now this time I was fully planned, I was fully planned. Let's take it out. Take it out, take it out, Pekka, come on. Oh, minion hold, come on, go. Go, let's do it. Take it out. Please take this knight out. Just a one knight. Okay, come on. He was having a spear goblin. Okay, zap it. Come on. That's a great idea. We should have zapped that. Okay. Now we are going to take this tower out. Okay, thank you, Mega Pekka. Oh, I keep telling Mega Pekka. Are you crazy? There's another Pekka. Okay, this is my time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it as fast as possible. Let's take these arrows out. Let's do it. Let's do it. There's the arrow. Oh, there it goes. Archer, well played. Bro, now no chance to return back. We don't have any chances to return back. And there we go. Just few it once. Oh. Well played, buddy. But don't worry. I'm a boy. So if you like today's episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. That's what makes my channel work. Thank you for watching this.